got a pretty funny well i don't know we'll see uh <laughs> funny or sad yeah. it's, it's a little bit above uh an arizona man has been arrested for allegedly faking that he had terminal lou gehrig's disease to scam sympathetic donors into getting him a free motorized wheelchair truck repairs and a fundraiser for a nine thousand dollar speech device he wanted all this stuff that he didn't really need because he didn't have Lou Gehrig. So he actually got. The I think that's what he said yeah. it was for. But like at the at the end of the day, you're like, what was your game? Your game was going to be you were going to get a Stephen Hawking machine and a wheelchair and a truck that you could drive, but you don't actually need any of that shit. You know, but like my whole thing is like when people like give money to uh, like a GoFundMe and then they get scammed. Like almost always, it's like. You probably could have just looked further into that thing you're giving money to oh, well, <laughs> to find that's, out if you're... That's like... definitely the case with this guy. Uh, Christopher Wade Nelson, 49, was arrested on July 29th following a seven-month investigation on multiple felony charges, including fraud, aggravated identity theft, which I don't know how it could be aggravated. Like, you put a gun in someone's face, you're like, make me you! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe he stole something. I'm Steven physically. Johnson now, you understand? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> aggravated identity theft, forgery, and witness tampering. At the time of his arrest, he was out on pretrial release for pending charges related to another scam in 2016 where he allegedly faked having pancreatic cancer to defraud his high school friends for donations. In that case, and this is fucking wild, in that case, he reportedly received $30,000 in donations from high school alumni over a five-year period and then sent emails saying that he had died by suicide. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's cool. Yeah, this, guy, no, this guy's pretty cool. I mean... It depends on how shitty people were to him in high school. Yeah, I'll say that. That's uh, that's very true. Yeah, I didn't even consider that. If he was some guy that got shit on and all these people fucked with him and this is his revenge, fucking badass. But yeah. if you're like the captain of the football team, fuck you, But bro. no, if he got shit on and everyone was mean to him, I doubt anybody would want to give him money. Like, I... Yeah. like. I bet if that happened, he would have just had the vengeance of having a good and successful life. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He probably was the captain of the football yeah. team. Because, like, I had a fine time in high school. I would not I would not be able to get $30,000 from my class. I don't remember no. my classmates no. well enough to get $30,000 from them. <laughs> Police say that Nelson engaged in the schemes between May of 2018 and May of 2020 in order to delay his pending criminal trial. So he was also on the side scamming these people and also trying to delay his uh, trial by being like, oh, also, I have Lou Gehrig's disease. Uh, <laughs> Wait, you could get off of crimes for having... You could get it delayed. Trouble? Yeah, delay of trial okay. but due, to, due to treatment and shit like that, especially for like a very serious illness like that. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Guys, I would like to announce that I've actually been diagnosed with uh, stage seven cancer. <laughs> uh, so. What's an epilepsy crime? <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, uh, police say he used his Instagram <laughs> to ask the owner of an auto shop to repair his 1951 Chevy truck for free so he could, quote, take one last ride <laughs> due to his terminal <laughs> ALS. This guy is fun. This guy either sucks or is great. And this I guy's can't tell. awesome. I love this man. I really can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> you get away with scamming so many people. Like. It just really depends on, like, uh, like his origin story is everything here. Because it's either like if he's like a guy who's just just had it up to here and is like fuck everybody, then this you know is that's his falling down moment. Right, then this is kind of <laughs> cool. Making a sickness, <laughs> stealing a bunch of money. I mean, you know, it just this depends. Is, I don't know. This is his Joker moment. Right. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. Like the world just beats you down so much. Sometimes you got to take a swing back. <laughs> uh, he also reportedly fabricated, uh, forged, and with intent to defraud documents allegedly from the Mayo Clinic submitted through his legal counsel, faking a terminal illness to avoid court appearances. The Mayo Clinic said it did not sign the documents related to his illness. He also used social media to get a physical therapist and real ALS patients to conduct a $9,000 fundraiser to get him a speech device. So that Whoa. that's fucked. Uh, that one's real fucked. Yeah, that's yeah, that's fucked. Like, just yeah. duping your dumb friends. The, the worst part thing, about but... this is he's taking money away from people who could have legitimately <laughs> needed need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> like, absolutely. Everything yeah. else about it, pretty cool. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
line for personal gain, respect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The original crime, even. Okay, sure. <laughs> Scamming classmates, whatever. If you guys are going to put on a scam, what would it be? I don't know. I Ooh. have epilepsy, so I could probably do yeah, you, it. You probably could use it. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, there is stuff I could probably fucking need and get. Uh, right. I'm right. sell those for shirts it. for more than $20. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I thought about it. But then I was like... <laughs> I can't. I can't justify being like here. Pay thirty dollars. The shirts for this are five thousand dollars a piece. Yeah, and uh... that would be so funny if they were for charity, like on the back, and I'm like samspeaks.org or something. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a charity for sale. Ooh, I like this already. This is gonna buy a lot of Buffalo Wild. <laughs> we spent all the money. <laughs> <laughs> Just cement our fatness. Do <laughs> a scam for fried chicken. My one last wish. My last one last time, baby. Garlic parm. Yeah. Forty of them. One last dip. She just had the table of Buffalo Wild. <laughs> <laughs> the writer's like, uh, sir, your card's been declined. I just want to take one last ride around. Just fake a seizure. My scam would be, uh, as I've said before, doing right wing heel turn. That's just what uh, that's what mine would be. Yeah, I used to be a Marxist. I used to, uh, you know, believe in everybody's rights. But listen, the, what was the church sign that was like the first person to demand equal rights was Lucifer? <laughs> <laughs> that shit. <laughs> Did you ever see that? That was, that was a sign that was on a, it was like a meme that went around a couple of years ago. Dude, I couldn't a... even try to write something that funny. No. <laughs> Absolutely. Not in a million years. Our brains don't work that way. But I'm mad respect to you because those people deserve to have their money taken. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But it's just so easy. If you can just speak kind of and you're not a complete dunce, you could just be the best grifter on the right wing. Like, I mean, it'd anyway. be pretty cool. That's the thing is you can't have a soul, though, because it would hurt your soul if you had one. Well, it just sounds like a lot of work. No, it's, it's just... not. You can talk. If you could talk, you can just fucking do... their points are all stupid and easy. Yeah. You know? and I mean, listen, did you listen to that fucking can of soup thing? That right. Guy's... That's, that all guy's... Guy's... <laughs> That's the baseline request. <laughs> Scooby Doo. Scooby. That guy's Scooby-Doo. about to win a presidential election. <laughs> Again. He's talking Again. like that. He's about to win two of them. By a landslide. <laughs> yeah. And then he's going to die in office in 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> and then it'll be his son's. I have $500 riding on this. I need him. <laughs> uh, the last little bit of the story. In February 2020, when Nelson appeared in court... He arrived in a motorized wheelchair, and his attorney said that he could not speak any longer. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to pull the old Harvey Weinstein, Bill Cosby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a classic guilty move. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is. Neck brace, man. It's Show also the, neck brace. the I don't drink anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's another one. <laughs> That's how you know they did it for sure. Yeah, yep. I'm going to rehab, y'all. Uh, dude, when I went to court for a DWI, I should have came in a wheelchair. <laughs> Your Honor, I have quit drinking. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he shows up to court with that. They say he can't talk, but police then surveilled his home. Uh, and in July, they uh, have footage of him walking. <laughs> and he was also seen washing and driving his car, doing yard work, lifting, and dancing. Cops. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think they weren't going to check? <laughs> like, so they committed funny. to the bit. <laughs> and it's so easy to commit because it's a pandemic. It's like, just stay in your house. Yeah, dude. Like, if, if somebody was like, hey, dude, you'll get $50,000 if you just stay in a wheelchair for the rest of the pandemic, I'd be like, no problem. Like, I'll pretend to fucking be crippled. Scott, but he was just like, I love dancing That's in the front other of thing. the window. <laughs> That's the other thing. I love to open up the curtains and just cut I, a rug. They didn't put cameras in his house. (laughs) I don't know if I've ever just recreationally danced in my driveway. You know? He was probably doing it shirt off, washing Washing the the car. car. Yeah, yeah, twerking. Yeah. He's like up against the... (laughs) Waving at his neighbors. He's doing a handstand and fucking shaking his ass up against the the car. What do the neighbors think? We're like, yeah, sometimes he's just in a wheelchair and he's pretending like he can't walk. I'm assuming he doesn't live in a house. 
Uh, no, it's I, a house. It's a house. Crazy. Oh, there's surveillance. The surveillance footage is hilarious. Yeah. Oh, I, I was assuming this all took place uh, in a trailer. Park. Nope, nope. It's a, it's a. No, this is Arizona. Everybody has a oh, house. Oh yeah. shit, yeah. <laughs> it's very cheap. Houses out there. are. No, they they give you houses Arizona to live in Arizona. Is, is a trailer park. The entire place. <laughs> trailer park logic applies. <laughs> I'm gonna take a wild guess and assume that this man is on crystal meth. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, he just looks like you know you're just a standard issue. Arizona white guy. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Beef jerky skin, the whole thing. Um, Scottsdale police determine that he is healthy, mobile, and utilizes verbal communication skills clearly and easily. So they've got video of the surveillance footage of him dancing in the driveway. I want to see the court transcript of him with the Stephen Hawking, you know, like <laughs> the whole thing. That's what and I want. Next to a video of him, like, moonwalking <laughs> in his driveway. Like, yeah. Even if he was incredible at dancing. Yeah. <laughs> you've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. <laughs> <laughs> man. Oh, I fucking love that. It's, yeah, I or maybe I hate it. I don't know. I would have to meet the man, and then I could tell you if I like this guy or not. But I don't he, like that he stole from from uh, you know people with Luke Gehrig's yeah. disease. I like but. the idea of this man. Yeah, but yeah. the reality. Yeah, is in practice, it's right. bad. Yeah, yeah, he seems like a Coen Brothers esque figure of like. There's nothing actually you would like about this guy, but there's something weirdly charming about it. Yeah, like he's just, just relatable. He's just like a like, Danny McBride. He's like it, such a shithead that you're like, all right, respect. If you had the opportunity to do the same thing, you probably would. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, if all the fucking <laughs> if all the fucking steps were there and you could just take if them. all the dominoes <laughs> lined up yeah exactly uh, it'd be hard not to <laughs> it'd be hard not to defraud <laughs>